You know what I hate most in this world? Scratch that. One of the many things that I hate in this goddamn world is a cap and line ass bastard. Right? Today we gonna check out Young Miami on her relationship with Diddy. I just was scrolling through World Star and, and Cuz saying that what? She never seen that side of Diddy and stuff. What? All right. Your talk amongst me and you and amongst close friends. You know, I've been hearing a lot about this really guy, Saucy Santana. And, and so today I want you to take this time. I've never looked into it because I wasn't that love. interested, but Get this is my introduction to him. Because once you talk today, bro's you know, lips is glossy as fuck. 2028, baby. Thank you. So, <laughs> Shout out to I Chicken Grease. Today and let everything out, get everything <laughs> off your chest, and we're gonna get into it. Let's go, I'm ready. So I want to get he into is saucy as hell. mental health or, or is it with nasty? you. I feel like um, Shout out I to just want to check on, and I feel like everybody wants to know just these days, how are you? <laughs> just in general with life, your kids, um, family, and just with your career. Like where are you at mentally? I'm just all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going, I'm going through a lot. And some days I just be like, everybody goes through this in their career and they like the I nails like say life, fake, the hair say fake, the boobs breakup, say fake. A divorce, a death. Why should just I listen like to you and is. expect and the I truth? Like, let it out. This is a safe space. This is your space to be vulnerable and just really, you know, let out how you feel. <laughs> so mentally, like. Mentally. Woman and I'm happy. Woman and I'm Oh, sad. shit. Yo, how'd she start crying Woman already? Like, Wait, she... when did it even start? Yeah. What the fuck? Yo, the last camera angle was her and regular, like, and then it came back and she's I'm crying. And I'm like... If this shit ain't witchcraft, I, I don't know what the fuck go going on in the world. Yeah. I work hard. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, I just don't understand how I put in a lot of time and you start crying that quick. And I did it. You like a ninja or something? And Hold on. I feel like in life, you got to go through shit to get through shit. Like, us just said that. And I was like, wow, that's some real shit. Yeah. Yo, like, cuz dangerous life, as fuck. I see why Diddy uh, recruited her ass. She like, fuck it. Yo, death, right now they got a G.I. Joe situation going on. <laughs> Cobra that's Commander, that's Diddy. Because I know His that, ass like, freaky. Life not perfect. Freaky Commander, and, and she is a little we minion and shit. learn from our mistakes, and life is a lesson. And Honestly. I feel like she the probably people like, that I thought that would be in my corner, mm. or that are like, when I was going through this shit, nobody called me. She probably nobody like Storm Shadow for real, story. right? Like, people was really like... She I loyal as fuck. Thought. Yeah. But not really. So when it comes to Diddy, why do you think that you are so heavily involved in everything. Like, I've, everything that comes out about him, like you said, it's automatically, well, what you think? Mm -hmm. Well, why you, how you feel? What you got to say? Because people feel like... Um, Wait, where did the tears go? I was the biggest cheerleader, and I made him my brand. And I Yo, feel like... Yo, shit is like... Diddy I don't understand how people... What? I got with Diddy and Brian until my life. I had him at the office. I was still doing... Risha Roulette in the split. All yeah. right on. Ari. Slap on my ass. I ain't never think I was bigger than the program. I was still on my city world shit. I was still doing remixes. Don't play with it. You I was Gucci man. Gucci uh, man. First impression. I was still working. I, we, city Girls was on tour with Jack Carlo. We had at bad, you know, Diddy came to me with the song. Told JT, let's get on this record. Like, I was still doing city girls shit. I was heavily involved in the group. I never thought I was bigger than the program. So, with... With Diddy, what was your experience with dating him? Because I feel like in the headlines, it's a lot of just chaos and it's a lot of um, allegations. And so I think that's what makes people feel like, well, since you were so heavily involved, um, you were you you were a part of these things or you were around these things. So what What's was that your around experience his neck? Like, Is that know, the beard? Dating him. Well, I met Diddy at Pea Party and I met him when he was in a love era. And I met Diddy when the world was celebrating him and giving him his flowers while he was alive. Mm -hmm. Like he did, he was getting the Global Icon Award, the Lifetime Achievement Award, the Key to the City. He had a new album that was coming out. So I was celebrating him with the world. And I just feel like everybody trying to crucify me for it. Like you was, you was his biggest advocate, you was his chili, but I was just celebrating when the world was celebrating him. Mm -hmm. So why am I being crucified or why am I being separated? Yeah. When 
I was dating him. We was love, love, love. The frequency, the frequency is how we used to laugh. It's like, like him, Santana, he's always, what's up, queen? Yes. So I just felt like I met him like a, in a whole new area and that wasn't my experience. Mm-hmm. Like when I met him, it was just like, I told y'all on season one, I even asked him like, why you fucking with me? Why you fucking with a city girl? Yeah. Why you, why you coming into my room? Because I'm on some whole other shit. Like, you know, you know my- Her ass. Okay, so she said she met Diddy in his uh, redemption arc phase, I guess, right? Is that what we're calling it? His redemption arc phase where he's not paying people to freaking do hits and <laughs> holding down people and grabbing people by the freaking gooch. Is that is that the part of life that she caught him in? That's what she just explained. I swear to God, people. I can't make this up. First, another thing. What is going on with their eyes? I don't know if they just... What kind of... What's, what, what, what is that? What's going on with their eyes right now? They saucy smoke ganja? Because I feel like they burnt the spliff. If it, if it ain't a spliff, it's something else. Something going on, dog. Because cuz is baked. Look at his face. Look at her eyes. She could, she could say that it was the crying, but... My bet says they burnt the spliff. I'm like, all right, this he, this is going to play into it because my eyes are red right now. It's like I've been tearing the fuck up over this situation. Don't ask Captain City Girl. Don't never trust a city girl. That's one thing we learned, right? You don't never trust them. They bogus as hell. They lied to you. Screech. Yeah. And he's just like, when I got him, got with him, he was just a man. And like, it was more of like, okay, we ain't going to do that. We're going to see it. We're going to communicate. We're going to get the solutions. What's going on? Like, we ain't even going that route. So that was my experience with him. So a lot of the a lot of the things that people really like say about him, you didn't experience that as in dating. That's not something that you saw. So is that the reason why you never said anything? Is that he the never reason saw why the tongue pump side? Allegations like when he got angry, he'll like apart? punch you on your shit. Like, why didn't you speak? Because I can't speak on so which something side that didn't she see the rapist part or the, the, the uh, abusive know. one. I can't speak on these allegations because I wasn't around at the time. I don't know that person, and that wasn't my experience. The sexual predator so part, or with you being, or the drug I feel addict like part, a survivor of domestic violence. He never hit you in a relationship. Okay, he was the, never violent. The tongue pup part. It was that something that you had to tolerate, or so she ain't denying yeah, all just, the drugs. That, that and wasn't a, that wasn't a or part she of poured these you know, and stuff. Because I feel like that's the biggest she just thing. She's saying to him she never right saw now him is, tump anybody. You know what he going through in these lawsuits, and you know that video Which that I can came honestly, out. And it's like I feel like a lot of people are wondering. I can was that your that. experience? She's so and ratchet I and fucked that up. Been through domestic I feel like she would be down with anything he said. He would never have a reason to be angry with her. You've grown She's from like the perfect, that you don't You know what I'm saying? Cobra Commander and Storm Shadow. I went through romance violence in two relationships. And mm. I told myself, I she do her utmost I would never put myself in that situation. A mission. Again. She ain't gonna especially fail. now being in a mother. And she gonna keep mom. it down. I was a mother then. She ratchet as hell. Daughter. Like, City I would girl. never put myself in that position. I don't stand for domestic violence. I'm just not going for that. So do you feel like with Day and Diddy, like, was it a business relationship? Do you feel like it was beneficial Especially when there's billions involved. I feel like it was beneficial for both of us. Mm -hmm. I think that, like, you know, I was able to come and be a brand ambassador for their Leon and take it to a whole nother, le whole nother level because I feel like, I won't say nobody wasn't drinking De Leon, but... Nobody wasn't drinking De Leon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a Delion is. Am I poor? But when I came, it was just like, it's a city or a summer. We drink a Delion, we acting bad. So I felt like I was an asset. I honestly just feel like with Diddy, like, you know, I met him at a pee party and I don't know what his intentions was, but I don't know if it was like business or he really liked me, but I felt like, you know, he, when he got me, he really saw something in me. And that's why I, he was like, you know what? You got a big personality. Like, mm -hmm. you, you, you can. You, you ratchet enough. Podcast. No, no, no. Like, you ratchet you, you enough. Know how to engage I need you on the like, team. You got, like, you know how to ask good questions. So, yeah. so I feel you like, are you know, all I came the motherfuckers, all the drug to, like, addicts, all the skanks. Turn everything he had going on up and All the freaky. Like, you know, he had Deli on. I was able to. Yeah, you know, the whole world and he got a fatty and too. Like so I they gonna popular, see it, you know, thinking yeah. they and gonna come to the crib with Revolt, and get with her. And Meanwhile, it's Diddy in the closet. Yeah, so bro, I just looking. Like, 
you know. Mm-hmm. And then with him, it was like uh-huh. he was able take to, your time. you know, take my career to the next level. I, I did the Met Gala. I got ready with so both. sat down like, in the I closet, wasn't, dog. I wasn't going into the relationship thinking, like, I want to get a purse. That boy got ectoplasm all over the room. Private jets. I want to get yeah, diamonds. Like, I feel like I'm up under a mogul. I want to learn something. You know, like, I want to learn business. I want to learn how to. Okay, you got a network. How can I get a network? Or you know, you 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 had a Sean John. How can I make Carisha please the next Sean John? So I went into that relationship like on a, on a like more of like I want to become a mogul and I want to learn up up under you. You know, those, most people just want to get their body done. You want to get a trip. You want to mm-hmm. just do that video. No, I wasn't one of them. And I I that's what I respect about you because even though. You a city girl. I'm going to tell you right now, um, her morals are directly linked to how much money you can give her. I always say that. And like just a grown woman. If you could give her enough money, she would probably kill an African kid. The elevation in your production um, and your team that you started hiring business managers. Hello. And I I think that it, I think that like when you get around people, you see certain things. Like mm-hmm. you able to like you should be able to learn something from somebody. You know, I felt like I was. And Diddy could give you like, a lot of money to do a lot operating. of fucked up like, shit. I should have a cheaper staff. Yeah, I should have a business manager. You know, I should have all these things in place. And that's what I was learning. Like I took that more of like a learning experience. I tell y'all why it like, first started at Target. Road. That's why I'm like, I'm a mom, I'm script. a business woman. Mm-hmm. I'm not just a okay, rapper. Okay. Like I'm being a rapper. So I'm ready to get into some smoke because I feel like you popping it and you putting everything on the flow. So we really want to dig a little deeper into your my end. You ready for the smoke? I'm ready for the smoke. Is you ready? So when it comes to, you know, City Girls and JT, y'all was having an argument on Twitter. You felt like... You don't you care know, about she- none of this, though. Specialties. Like, he know how to, like... How, like, everybody really, like, just turned on you and just how you been... So strong, even like for your okay, kids. Okay, I'm for starting yourself. to send something. They're um, they're like best friends, huh? Being a woman, making the right decisions. Yeah, I think that. Well, I just want to say they like best thank friends. You like if behind it, the door, you, I, I wouldn't be. What the fuck, I would. Be. Hold on, mm. y'all. I probably will be. I got a wild theory, y'all. I got a wild theory. I just hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I don't know how Saucy brother start crying. My man just start whack, whack, whack. Them bitches start dropping out like bullets. How the fuck? Okay. I'm not going to say a person can't cry for this reason, but <clears throat> I don't see people just crying like this for no reason. Like, for, this is not a good enough reason for you to be carrying on like this. Your fucking Niagara Falls falling down your faces. You think you reminisce about your friend going through this public shame and god damn it, I just can't. Ah, I'm gonna cry. Right? Eh, maybe. But um listen, she already said listen, she her her and him are like friends. I don't know this for a fact. Y'all know more than me, so let me know. They're friends. You understand what I'm saying? They friends. Cuz They're friends. And what I mean they friends is P. Diddy got with her, right? Yes, Queen Ingo. Me, she, him. Him now. I don't know what to say, bro. (laughs) I'm confused. I'm learning. It's a learning process for me. I'm pleased. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, listen. Saucy, Saucy, Saucy is most definitely a part of the Freaky Deeks, too. The the Orgy Parties, he's a part of this shit. Oh, yes. Him, Young Mule, and goddamn Saucy Freak, and freaky all on a mixtape i'm lying i don't know bro am i lying am i lying cuz am i lying i ain't goddamn lying why he crying like that no he invested in this shit he know he a part he got they got some tapes on his ass so right now if you don't get out this podcast and make this shit look like you and young miami don't even know this listen don't talk about the drug shit but listen 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 they right now they on my ass for fucking um beating up people and shit they got me You understand what I'm saying? You better get on there and make sure that these people don't think I'm going to put in the goddamn word and get saucy on that bitch too because he on the fucking videos. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Fucking cry and all that shit. Cap. How the fuck? Somewhere like, I probably would have turned into a motherfucking pill popping animal putting myself to sleep. Because this was like... She probably is a pill popping animal already. Be here for me. Turn this into like an aha moment. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And it just was like, 
So I see probably been Nobody to one of them parties, bro. Me. Nobody the many. see like Couple. I was feeling they like it was really like and she got the direct link. Like, so it's pull up, friend. You this nigga, you pull up, you was going up, and I didn't mm-hmm. think anything. Mm-hmm. I got with a nigga and I did what I was supposed to do. Yeah. And a nigga was doing what he was supposed to do. <clears throat> Listen, they already said you know T.D. Like, James was in there get getting his shit. In. Clap. What you, come you on, man. Him. Saucy the least. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, Saucy the least. I was able to he out there with his get shit. a podcast and I still got my podcast with or without him. You, you know? just probably don't want your That's name linked with him. Position. But. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you selling yourself. I think that. Honestly, Saucy don't got shit to lose with that. for short. And just Diddy has more to lose than shit. Because um, he got to keep it a secret. How you carry yourself in the morning. Wake up, sit down, hold on, I'm on the phone with my business manager. I'm having a business meeting. I'm on a Zoom. I'm talking to my lawyers. Um, even watching, you know, you turn um, our lives into, our Instagram lives into this. Right. Um, you know, I don't that, know. That I ain't going to lie. Eat. Zip that little thing up a even, little bit, bro. Um, I don't want to see that side you pay for your own studio. Respectfully. You're still working. You pay for so much stuff that's even for your brand and stuff. I'm yeah. pocket, watching you invest in your business. Yeah, that's that's something that I take pride into. It's like I want to bet on myself because I feel like everybody always count me out. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this whole time I've been an underdog. Yeah, you know, I just like, thought of another I, thing. Like, was like, Since I became a content you, creator and stuff, I understand how editing works. Hey, what, what, Every time this friggin' thing cuts, yeah, does so a hard like, cut back to somebody, it's like, you're fucking like, balling. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they just stop right there and then and just put some eye drops mm-hmm. right in there and just cut like, this shit out. Come back, I'm crying. In the last year. Yeah. Ain't nothing happening. You got somebody right on that side right there. Hurry up. Every 15 minutes, run out with the eye drops. Trying to find. Oh, baby, you high in fire. Oh, my God. Because it's just like. Diddy ain't doing it. I know my potential. You get what I'm saying? I just feel like. Cause how the I fuck? got an empire to build. Yeah. And I'm going to invest every dollar, every penny that I got into myself. So I do pay for my own studio and I'm not able to release music right now. It's because it's like when I try to turn my music in, it's just like we don't see no gro- growth. Oh, so this don't seem like or, no crying you know, that I know of. This is like crying you know, of like, like the fans that y'all had six years this ago. This type of crying now. with females and a. And it's just like when it comes to. And a I feminine like man would not happen like this. Yeah. I made fun music. You know what it is? Since I know then, things I about like I people. Personality. And they mm-hmm. just wouldn't and be I crying like, like this. It would be more dramatic theatrics and the stuff involved. The reason why I lost my personality is because everything They crying like they so humble literal, diplomats like, and they holding that shit down yes. in the trenches. We can just be at the pool just Huff talking something in the next day. You nah, wake nah, up nah, and nah, nah, it's either that or you yell ass capping. And that's something that it's just like, I feel like I lost myself. Because, you know, normally I used to be online, on live all day, Santana. We'll be riding around a car, just no. crapping, you know, we on live. Well, <laughs> you know, now I'm scared to pop on my live. That. Like, that's like the other day we had the pool. I'm like, Santana, I'm going to turn off my live. They mm-hmm. straight thugs. Because I feel like people build you up. Oh, no, they, down. they heartless. So the reason why people fell in love with me is just like now, it's just like, oh, you so ignorant. You so this. And I just feel like I don't got a personality no more. And it just really hurts. I think that. I wouldn't trust oh, her ass know, around five cents. Your personality is what got Hell you no. here. People fell in love with you as a person, and then they fell in love with the music. Mm-hmm. Because to everybody initially, you couldn't rap. I um, fucking what hate chin straps, like, man. Um, I hate those shits. Yeah, they say I sound like chipmunks. It was always this. It was always that. And then next thing you know, people was rapping you word for word. And you got... So many viral slangs. Any oh my everything God. I would do. start a dictionary. Yes. Like hurry shit dictionary. Every always a new word. It's always a new word. <laughs> everything you do sell, but you st- st- stole candles off of eleven eleven. Like it, it it's just like I just like what are we talking I about right now? Because I would like, bitch, whatever she touched, her to Right go. now. It's like we're not even talking about P. Diddy beating up people and shit and fucking drugging people and having crazy ass orgy parties and videoing politicians and all this crazy stuff that we know about. Right now, it's like, what is happening right now? Are we addressing this or are we having talk about nails and shit? Why y'all trying to play mind games with people, man? Chat the shit. Chat the real shit. This whole video should have been about that. Nobody gives a fuck about JT and the city girls. Nigga. Your name ain't Pity. Oh, my God. Your name ain't fucking P. Diddy, bro. I'm sorry. It's just not that important. We don't care. 
we don't care we don't we want to hear about who he thumped up and who you know he thumped up and who power bought him stop the games man we already caught you on planes doing doing exporting drugs and shit it's like you, come on man we know you know yo ass cabin oh my god man and then you got best friend on here lying with you and shit fake crying with you y'all crazy as hell don't trust city girls y'all they dangerous as fuck they are on them left breast <laughs> so it's just like you know i'm like i just want uh, you to saucy always exposed chest keep that and, and i'm and, not a rapper keep stay grounded in it and know that it's not on you it's ink i just I just really, really like when you asked me earlier, like, how was my mental? I just really hate that I lost my personality. You mm -hmm. lost your personality? Me, like, Santana, I don't want to dance no more and dance and make me happy. I'm like, I don't want to go to the club. I don't want to dance. No yeah, because you're shit. freaking you facing know, years in fucking and really prison and shit. From, like, you know, like, you like, you get in your head. I can like, yeah. see you how you don't want to dance. Everything. You like, you could have a hit, but it's shit, like, I wouldn't want to dance either. It. I'm feeling like, I might be away for 50 years. That's just me being me. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking too deep into it. If they he go down, end, they bro probably gonna bring world. me down like, too. You know how much stuff I did for that man. Yeah. That's what she probably thinking. Yeah, that shit will really. I can't you dance down. right now. I can't afford like to really dance, man. Negative too much stress. And it's like taking up. You know, majority of your day. Right like, now, they getting really footage like, of, of you should give up trick daddy. They ain't trick daddy. He pee daddy. They already got a trick daddy. Am I ain't shit? I learned a new word, guys. But when you go outside, diddy is her trick. You just be like. Mm-hmm. But you gotta keep going. But they have one a lot of money, so it looks a little K. bit different. Michelle, that's one of she my has more jewelry and stuff. And just as a person. You know what I'm saying? She came to me the other day. She was like, Tell Chris She can afford more things. We love her. Yeah, she did me. But she told this me, she is said, a trick she and said, um, we love her. what do you call she was like what, are, what do tricks what, what are the girls' tricks deal with called? Superstars. She said everybody go Prosties. up and you have a time where shit happens. Maybe she said and you shoot. I don't right think you have up. to be a prostitute to and have so a trick. I'm just That's like a pimp. So excited for the a trick is like an unofficial and pimp and a prostitute agreement. What's next for Young Miami? Mm -hmm. What's next for this Yams era? You and then you're the Let's, customer. You're you know, you're the pimp we, and the customer at the same the time. That's what a trick is. I'm in the studio working. Mm. And I have like a project that's ready. I have a single that's ready. And when, what's next for me is season two of Carisha, please. Oh, that's how y'all ain't start down. Oh. Walrus clap. We Let's talk about P. Push, Diddy. Mm -hmm. Stop doing this shit. You, you insult my show. intelligence right now. Okay. We got Risha Ruloni. Oh, er, 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 er. part two. Now I'm confused, huh? No, Risha I ain't Rulodi. confused. Okay, another round of applause. Who did he touch? Girl, I know Risha Roulette by heart, so that is very exciting. Oh, part two is way more crazy. She, that is Risha. She has made sure the person to your right or the person to your left is somebody that you might want to do a little, you know, have some fun with. So do we got a Risha Roulette? And, and, and this one, you know, I love, I know. People. Guys, guys, this whole video is, is just a, listen, it's just more distractions. You understand what I'm saying? Ain't nobody asking real questions. They got the wrong person to be asking this. They best friends. They set up this whole interview. They probably went through the questions. They probably did the que made the questions together. You understand what I'm saying? Touch on this a little bit, and then we just gonna switch it over to kind of like dampen it down to affect it that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, real life. They on some FBI work, bro. They ain't really trying to talk about it. Not really. Her ass capping. Everything about her is fake, too. Her nails, her ear, big ass fucking hoop earrings. Oh, God. Her boobs are fake, but they're like, you know what I'm saying? I can see why P. Diddy chose her. She got the righteousness and the body. You know what I mean? She would attract a lot of guys. I can't imagine. And then P. Diddy's waiting there in the closet, fapping. That's how it goes down, y'all.